welcome to the nest. Come in. I'm so glad you came today to have coffee with me. Come on over. Let's have a cup. Today I'm brewing Highlander Grog, and that's my favorite coffee, so I hope you like it. You want a cup? Let's go over to the studio and chat just a little bit. Hi Jenny. Abby's gonna help me. She's gonna tell me who's on today. My glasses are a little dark because I had to go outside and uh, help Chuck. He's doing some uh, work out there and needed to have my opinion. So, hi Faith. Hi Mary Jo. Good morning Jane Ann. Hey, Jane Ann. Hi, Beth. Before I forget, I have your stuff outside ready for you because um, Jackie said you were picking up today. So if you're not, let me know and I'll take it off the door. So otherwise, it's there for you today. Who else did I see? Debbie. Hi, Debbie. How are you? What's everyone drinking this morning? I went springing today. I felt like... Um, it's just, even though it's cold out, it's beautiful out. And the trees are starting to bud. So this is a cup I made just specifically for the nest. Hi, Violet. How are you? Are you drinking coffee this morning? Yeah. Mary Jo's drinking coffee. Hi, Kathy. <laughs> Best drinking Klua coffee. Well, I will admit, there may be a little bit of... Uh, Bailey's, um, I got a new one, coffee espresso in mine, and it's really good. Violet's drinking tea and face drinking coffee with caramel macchiato oil. Well, Starbucks, yeah. Mountain Dew. <laughs> Jenny likes her Mountain Dew. So, how's everyone doing? Are you surviving the shut-in? It's, it's been, um, different, right? We have to, uh, just kind of stay away from people. Is anyone still, um, I know a lot of you are working from home. Luann's working from home. Um, everyone staying healthy? Oh, Kathy's got chocolate Irish cream. Mm, I know you like that. That sounds good. Hi, Tanya. I'm just saying hi and seeing what everyone's drinking. Beth, you're still going in the office, but you have a... Um, your office is just you and your boss, right? So that's good. Hi, Sandy. And Faith, you work from home. You work from home, so, and making masks. Oh, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And Debbie says, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, Beth, you took today off? Nice. Hi, Luann. We were just talking about you. You're still working from home, so we're going to just about that. <laughs> Two people and the doors are locked. Yeah, no one can come in. That's good. There's always work to do, though. Mary Jo, that's what I need to do. I'm doing a lot of baking, but we're eating it all. So we have to um, share the goodness. So, But we have, I think it's been interesting here because... Um, Chuck's been working out in the yard and so and the neighbors are all walking and working out in their yards and we're out in the country in case you don't know that and it's really interesting because they'll have they'll be like I'll see Chuck standing at the road and the neighbors standing at the road and the other neighbors walk by and they they're standing over here and we have a new neighbor um, south of us that, that's just um, putting a new building in and they've been out here and so they'll stand out there and talk it's a young couple they're He's a doctor in Monticello, so um, hi, Amy. Um, and so it's been really fun, and they're they're playing catch up. You know, normally we don't even hardly see our neighbors because we're out in the country. So um, I froze. Well, that could be my internet. I don't know. Let me just. I can't really check and make sure I'm on. So hopefully you guys can all see me. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn the uh, 
camera around here in a minute and do a card for you. Um, my friend Sandy, who is watching right now, hi Sandy, um, she inspired this card. So, sorry, I'm just going to drop this down into my view here for a minute. I decided she wanted to get the dino bundle and I had that on my desk already and I thought, oh, that's good. I'm going to I'm going to do a card and show you this dino bundle and I haven't even designed the card, but I cut pieces. So um, hopefully this card will come together. <laughs> so this is how I create. So now you'll see me raw, right? Oh, your boss told, Luann says her boss told her to take some time away from work. That's nice because Hannah's boss is not that way. They want her at the desk. She's there at 830. She takes her break. She exercises. She has a seven minute exercise. She's running around jogging and doing jumping jacks. Has to be back at her desk. She takes her lunch break. I mean, it's very strict and they want her working. And then five o'clock, you know, she's, she's still on there and then logging off. Hi, Margo. So we, let's see, where are we at? Just a little after 10. It won't take me very long to make the card, I don't think. But I want to show you, um, I think I'm done with the cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put my phone down to my desk. So stay tuned here for a minute. And we're going to see if we can do this. Got to turn that around so you're not looking at my ceiling. Okay, let me get it in my... See if I can, yeah, there we go. That's pretty good. Okay, so I want to show you the Dino Days, um, a little card using Dino Days. And let me show you what is in, like, some of the parts of this um, suite. So here is the paper. Okay, here's one side of the paper. And then I'm gonna flip it over and show you the other side. So there's these fabulous patterns. I love this. And then one of the things I love about this paper is this piece right here. You can take the dies, the dies that come with it. These are all the dies that come with it. And this will fit these dinosaurs on this paper. So not only can you cut out the stamped images you can cut out these pre um pieces here that are in the paper so that's what i did today so all these fit and here's a little pterodactyl right okay so that I love. Then um, you can also do, like this week I made Easter cards and this cuts out the little egg from the um, one of the Easter sets we had too, but you could just do like a little dinosaur egg. These little pieces are for the um, backs of the dinosaurs. Like this is the little, um, oh, the, this part here. You can cut it out or stamp it and then that would go on the back of him like that. And then little scales and rocks and designs. There's the palm tree, so you can make little palm tree images like that. Okay, so um, let's get started. I'm going to sit down and Abby's going to tell me if I go off camera. I think I'm okay if I'm here. Okay, so I'm starting. So one of the other things I wanted to show you, hold on, let me. One of the things I love about our designer series paper is you can see what the coordinating colors are. So, um... With this paper, it coordinates with um, Flirty Flamingo, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, Old Olive, Pineapple Punch, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. So I don't have to think or guess about the color. So I'm doing um, Pretty Peacock and Lovely Lipstick and um, then some of the designer series paper, this one right here. So that kind of looks odd and hopefully it won't look odd when I'm done. And hopefully this card will turn out cute. But... While I'm talking about the um, lovely lipstick, it reminds me to let you know that in about two weeks or less than two weeks, we're going to get the um, retired list. It's going to be coming out. And these every year they retire 
half of the in color so they last for two years and then they retire set and a new set comes in but what we found that if you love a color like this the ones that are going to be retiring are um, pineapple punch grapefruit grove lovely lipstick blueberry bushel and call me clover if you love any of those colors or you have the ink pads and you don't have the refill order it now because they sell out immediately. If you want to get a stock of, this is probably one of my favorite colors. It matches my fingernails almost. Um, but if you want to get one of these, the paper or the ink pad or the refill marker, well, no, not marker. Yeah, set of markers. You could get the set of ink color markers. Now's the time because they're going to be retiring. And Pineapple Punch is a blend. And Call Me Clover is in the blends. Um, Lovely Lipstick is a set of blends. I don't think there's no grapefruit grove and there's no blueberry bushel. So, but those other three are blends. So if you like those colors, get them now. So let's get started. I have decided I cut my designer series paper down to um, three and three quarters by five. That's my favorite layer. And then I cut the lovely lipstick to just be a skosh, that is the official term, a skosh outside of that. So I added a, a, oh, a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch, I guess, so it ends up a sixteen on each side. And then I'm going to fold my card base in half. And you're going to pretend like I put a beautiful double layered inside in it, but I'm not going to put it inside in it because I didn't pre-cut that. So I'm just thinking I'm going to put this on here. I cut out two of the um dinosaurs a pterodactyl and um whatever this is you can tell me if you know um do you know stegosaurus uh, no not, stegosaurus. not a stegosaurus i was thinking like a diplodocus but that's oh a diplodocus whatever that is no one knows but abby okay i'm gonna call it a stegosaurus because i think it is one she's laughing at me <laughs> like a it's not a stegosaurus okay and then i thought maybe the um this braid Oh, what's it called? I don't even know. The burlap, braided burlap trim. Okay. I thought maybe that was kind of rustic. I might lay that on there. And then I stamped, um, thanks for being a friend of Saurus. That's in the set here. There's really cute words. Look who's hatched. I love you this much. It's more than it looks, which would be super cute with this little guy here. I love you this much. And then your Roarsome. I made some cards earlier with that. It's turned out super cute. Um, I think I feel comfortable that I can go ahead and tape this down. I don't think I'm going to wrap anything. Okay, so there's my layer. Um, I can probably... Abby, I might be better off with a little bit of tear and tape on this. Okay. I think if I use tear tape, I will be happier. And I'm going to lay some tear tape down. Listen, I seriously have no idea where I'm going with this, so let's hope it works out. Eva's here. Hi, Eva. Um, so I'm, th I'm looking at my fingernails. I'm thinking about my fingernails. So I'm going to ask you a question. What is the funniest thing maybe you've purchased um, right now um, because of being sheltering in that might, you might not have done before? And I'm going to start. I purchased, and it's not here yet. Um, I don't have fingernails, but they've been growing. I've been really babying them, like using this special stuff. And so... When I was in Florida, I went and had my nails done with a gel, which I'd never done before. And they actually grew, and it was amazing, and I loved it. Um, and so I, I did it when I came home, and then we sheltered in. So my fingers are just breaking and stuff. So I've been using the two-part Sally Hansen gel, but that just is not the same thing. So I bought... Um, the lamp and some gel. I know it sounds so stupid, but I looked online and it was really inexpensive. Those lamps are only like thirty-five or forty dollars. So, Mike's it's coming. It's probably coming from China. I don't know, but it, it'll be here and on the twentieth. So, Sandy's here. Hopefully. Jacobson. 
Hey, Sandy. So hopefully um, that that's my funny thing. So anyone else buy anything funny or odd? I think I'm going to put um, dimensionals on this. I'm going to put them here so that kind of channels right through that. Ribbon channels right through there. I might have overdid it here a little. I don't think you can really see it. Okay, I think I'm going to put my thing here. Did I leave room for a dinosaur? Yeah, I can tuck them right under there. Okay, I like that. Um, anyone say anything about buying anything odd? On Amazon, have you been on Amazon? Jenny hasn't got anything regular other than regular. Okay. Faith has gotten some landscape fabric for her masks. Landscape fabric? That's interesting. Oh, I like that. Except that I went on the thing. I've got one dimensional here. I'm going to cut. You guys cut your edges like this. I've got one surprise for this card. You're going to think it looks kind of plain, but he's going there. And then one surprise is I pulled out, this is retired. These are retired, but I pulled out um, the old googly eyes from the Halloween I'm not squeezing very hard because I don't want very much. Let's see if I can use my pick-me-up tool easier. The Halloween googly eyes. Look how cute this is. Ah. That just adds a little something. What? <laughs> Who doesn't love googly eyes? Oh my gosh. Cute. Hey, I kind of like that card. So this one's for you, Sandy. Sandy, you 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 should be getting the um, the Dino Days. Um, I shipped them today to you, so you can uh, play around with this stamp set and uh, make some cute cards and show it on the. Um, I have that new group, Create with Me's Creativity Group. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around now. I'm gonna turn back around. actually wearing jeans today and I'm gonna get this out of the way there we go okay all right so hopefully I'm just looking over here to see until I can see anything here hi Sandy I think I said that already sorry you shipped masks to New Zealand Wow. Was that expensive? Was that, was, was it to a medical um, type thing? Oh, I don't want to do that because of my glasses. A medical thing or just a friend? Faith. Well, Jenny... You think you lost weight? Well, I gained it. All I've been doing is eating, I think. Hi, Ramona. I think I kind of have um, some internet, low internet. So if I bog out on you, I'm sorry. So I'm going to um, record this and put it up on YouTube too because I have um, a friend, Doris, who always comes to coffee class. And... Um, she doesn't do Facebook, so I record it for her and put it up there. So if you missed it or missed part of it, um, I will post the link in this group too. So Eva said something. Eva, you always have your nails done. I know. They always look great. <laughs> oh, you're, you had Stan cut your nails? <laughs> I wish I had that problem. My nails are so thin. They peel and stuff. That is so funny. Oh, my gosh. Luann um, bought the kit. Luann uh, joined my team this right before the end of celebration. And so her kit comes today, I think. 
You're getting a dog? I thought you had a dog. Did your dog pass away? I think I remember that now. Oh, what kind of designer breed are you looking for? Get something with the poodle in it because they don't shed. Some of those are so cute. I have German short hairs and they shed like crazy. They're supposed to be short hairs, but hmm. Your stamp and order comes in. I um did I did I've been crazy busy. I've been working morning till night in the studio. Um it sounds silly. You'd think we have more time, but I feel like I'm busier than ever. I started a um Create With Me at Home class. Um, some of you have participated in it, but if you don't know, it um, features a bundle, and you can either order the stamp set, the bundle. Um, you, I cut the projects. I did videos and tutorials, and it's been very time-consuming, but I think the first one's the worst, and um, it'll get easier after that. But um, this one featured the Positive Thoughts Bundle, and it's all ready to go. I'm just waiting for my bubble mailers come tomorrow, and then it'll go out in the mail on Monday. So if you um, participated in that, um, look for your stuff on Tuesday or Wednesday, because it said one day, maybe two days. So should have it by Wednesday, I'd say. And then the next one, we're um, I'm working with Betsy, my best friend Betsy in Pennsylvania. We're collaborating and the next one is um, Parcels and Petals, I think it's called. And the cards are so cute, so cute. Um, you're going to want to be a part of that. So um, I can't wait to show you and share that. We're going to share on April 15th, so watch for that. Um, let's see, Beth, check residue. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Beth, I'm probably going to check in with you today because I have 25 thank you cards for you. Beth's doing baskets for, um, I think, uh, chime in on that, Beth. You're doing it for um, medical thank yous, right? For people in the front lines, I think. Oh, of course. I, I sent her a birthday package early. She got it early because... She also needed something from me, and I needed to get it to her. So, uh, yes, Betsy's birthday was yesterday. Today's Chuck's birthday. Um, I'm not telling you how old he is because we're the same age. My birthday's in a couple weeks, but uh, he's older than me today. By We're only 16 days apart, um, but he's older, a year older than me today. <laughs> so today's his birthday. So we're going to go, we're going to do um, a surf and turf dinner tonight and his he wants cheesecake so Abby's gonna make him a cheesecake so that's why I think I'm gonna have to get out and I thought I might go to Sam so Beth I'll be a little bit closer to you so I've got um those cards and then I'll let you know when I'm up in that area so I'll tell him you said happy birthday Jenny thank you so what's everyone doing um did I complete everything I was talking about the yeah if you guys, if anyone's on here that's not a demonstrator and is interested in any of this stuff, I do have a host code open. Um, it's the same host code from last time. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I don't want to show all that because it's backwards. Well, I'll just, I'll just put it. It's, I'll just say it. It's three H is in Harry, Y is in you, P is in. Paul, A is an Apple, P is in Paul, 4, G is in George, and um, that host code is open now, so you can order um, through that host code, and it'll be um, put together on one, one event, and then it will be shipped right to you, so um, thank you, Tanya, I'll let them know, yeah, we're younger than you, not much, Andy, oh, your Andy's five months older than you. Yeah, I only get 16 days to work it, so it's been kind of funny here because he's been working outside, and since he he's super conservative as far as, like, shaving every day, and um, he said since he didn't have to go to church, 
he's been growing a beard. And I think I told you that last time, but it's really a beard now. So it's really interesting to see how it's coming in because he's never had facial hair. I mean, mustache, yes. And they, he's known as a mustache. Oh, it's Greg's birthday too? Oh, good. Oh, I was going to say, you can't go to the Olive Garden. You're going to eat in the car. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a good idea, though. Do I have bacon up here? <laughs> anyway, um, I forgot. I see I get so distracted. This live is terrible for me. What was I talking about, Abby? Oh, this Corona beard. So it's kind of it's kind of interesting now. It's kind of funny. So um, we have been trying not to razz him too much because we want him to keep it and see. So um, we made the mistake yesterday. They were working out by the chicken barn. And the roof is caving in, so he had said something about, oh, I think I might just take that down. And I made we made the mistake of saying, well, we talked about getting chickens again. So now he's out there working on how to raise the floor and repair the roof. So I guess maybe we might have chickens, but we have to be careful because our neighbor doesn't love our chickens. So we have to make sure they're all completely self-contained. So um, I loved having chickens, and I will love having fresh eggs. So I would love it if they could free range on the grass because that gives you the best um, yolks. Oh, you know what I forgot? Wait, I'm looking at my card. I'm looking at this card. Okay, hold on. Okay, I added one of the elements. So these are elements that are in the suite. That really looks lovely here these little adhesives. And so I, I added a little, a little element here. That's cute. I might add some of these little triangles cause then I'll pull in more of that pink color. Anyway, sorry, I'm totally uh, all over the place. So yeah, we used to have chickens all the time and we loved it. And um, the kids took care of it and sold the eggs and stuff like that. Um, my niece is up in Michigan and this was what got us um, wanting to do it again is she, they have eggs. They have they have uh, the most amazing hogs. They're Spanish. <clears throat> they are um, mangalisas, right? Mm -hmm. Mangalisas. Like and they're so they, but they have chickens and um, cattle. They have forty acres, and so for her um, egg delivery, since she's doing that now because of the corona, she dressed up as the Easter Bunny this week, and she's delivering them as the Easter Bunny. So I thought that was really cute. So made us want to have chickens again. So. Uh, maybe we will. We'll see. So, all right. Well, I think I'm going to log off. It's 1028 and I said till 1030 and I'm so glad that you guys joined me today. Um, I miss you all so much. I miss having you in the nest. This is my favorite, my very favorite class um, because I feel like we just connect and I'm very relationship oriented and it just kind of feeds my soul. So, um, thank you for coming today and, um, we'll do it again in two weeks and hopefully we'll be together soon. So love you. See you later. Bye.